Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel, Drawing with Michael, Michael Claire to Arts, and today we're going to do something fun. You guys know that I love doing drawings, and I love drawing in general. It's pretty much what this whole channel is about, but occasionally I get contacted by a company <clears throat> to do some reviews of drawing tablets, because what I do is a little bit different than, you know, some of the other YouTube channels. Maybe they'll get the tablet, they'll do a simple line test, they'll look and and do, uh, you know, maybe a, a sketch or a drawing, or they'll just look at the fit and finish, and they don't really go into the actual drawing process. I review the tablet exactly the way I would review it or use it, and I tape basically the whole process. So <coughs> we're going to do an unboxing, of course. We're going to talk about the fit and finish, the quality, the box. Then we're going to move into the actual drawing. I'm going to do a simple line test, and we're going to move into the drawing portion. Now, it is a little bit longer of a drawing today, um, just because I, I want to make sure and cover all the bases for you guys. And, uh, you know, I, I do a little drawing. I do a little talking. You know my channel. And if you're here for the first time, welcome. Um, I have a background in illustration, graphic design, 3D sculpting, and I've been in the industry for about 22 years, going on 23 years. I've worked for all the major companies, Disney, Warner Brothers, Pixar, Lucasfilm, um, NFL, Adidas, Nike, I mean, you name it. I've worked for so many companies, sometimes it's hard, you know, to remember just, you know, what I've done. But also, I still want to keep that mindset of a learning artist. It's important that we don't get up on our high horse and we start, you know, taking our shirt off, which I would never do, taking our shirt off and, and really touting our own prowess. You know, I, I'm the first to admit that I've got a long way to go in terms of drawing, in terms of design, in terms of learning things that are right. But what I do have right is having a decent attitude whenever it comes to people um, and companies and, and corporations and art directors and all those companies telling me what they need. And I can really kind of grasp onto those things and uh, have successes. And that's what's kept me uh, alive and well in the art community for a while. Um, and hopefully I can pass on some of that knowledge to you guys. But the company in question that contacted me is Yugi. Um, I did a review of this particular tablet right here, the Yugi 640W, S640W, which is uh, their wireless version of their smaller uh, pen tablet. Now, a pen tablet, for those of you who are not aware, is not a display tablet, and you know how I feel about pen tablets in general. I'm not a real huge fan, even though that's where my roots are. I started out on pen tablets because, honestly, who can afford a $2,500 tablet when they're really early in their career? And I actually had the opportunity that um, the company that I worked for splurged, and they bought me a 21-inch uh, a uh, digital display tablet, and that's what I've been on ever since for about uh, 15 years. So I've used um, tablets and digital illustration devices now since... 1997, 98, whenever I attended the Ringling College of Art and Design, and Yugi um, recognized that uh, I did a decent job. I thought I did an okay job uh, reviewing this tablet. I'm going to stick that link uh, to the video for this particular tablet in the description below. And it was great. I thought it was fantastic. Fit and finish was really good, and I just enjoyed using it. And that's a stretch for me because, again, I'm a display tablet kind of guy, but I do know how to use these. Um, so the tablet they sent me, sorry, gravity is at work. It's the law after all. Um, they sent me. <laughs> okay, third time's a charm. They sent me their latest and greatest um, display tablet, 10 by 6. So that's what this is. Woohoo! the Yugi, that's U-G-E-E, -E, M708 pen tablet. And they said, hey, you know, do a review, do a video, do a drawing, and do it before Black Friday. And I'm like, what? But you guys know that I already like to draw, and I enjoy doing it. Um, this is their wired version, so it's um, micro USB to USB. Plugs right into the side of a host machine, and you can go to town after you install the driver. Real simple process, right? 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity. It's got eight customizable shortcuts. Um, it's got a battery-free stylus, a resolution of 580 LPI, and it's got a really quick, uh, they call it a report rate, but basically what it is is an activation rate. 
Um, whether you guys know it or not, Yugi is the parent company of XP Pen. So whenever you buy a Yugi company uh, product, then you're going to get some of the technology that floats around at XP Pen. And uh, one of the reps actually told me recently that Sense Labs is also part of the Yugi Corporation. I didn't realize that. That's news to me. So whenever you buy an XP Pen product or a Yugi product or a Sense Labs product, you're going to get something that is genuinely awesome. I, I don't know how else to put it. I've used other companies' tablets, and they're all great. Don't get me wrong. But what sets Yugi, uh, Sense Labs, and XP Pen apart I think is going to be not only their product and their dedication to innovation, but also their customer service. You know, I, I've worked now with um, with their companies for a little while, and I just have a good feeling every time that I communicate with them. They're nice, and uh, everybody over there is really genuinely interested in your success uh, and my success. So let's go ahead and stop the talking and the introductions. And let's go ahead and get started doing the unboxing and moving on to the drawing. And here is the box of the Yugi M708. So you guys know, and I've said this before time and time again, a lot of the times whenever I'm unboxing something, I gotta make sure and give a complete overview of the design process, design language, and making sure that they put enough attention into the box because a lot of times companies will skimp on the box for putting um, more money into the unit itself. So uh, I, I think that the boxing is, so far, it's very similar to XP Pen, just because I am aware that XP Pen and Yugi uh, are basically the same company. I think Yugi is the parent company of XP Pen, and their design language is very similar. So you look at the picture of the unit, and then you have the information on the back showing the product model the resolution, the pressure levels, and everything's on par with what I've seen in the market. So uh, it's a 10 by six live tablet, live area, and then you have the quick keys on the left-hand side. It indicates that you do indeed receive a pen, and uh, it's a battery uh, free stylus. It's got eight customizable short key cup, uh, shortcut keys on the left-hand side, 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity and it connects via a micro SB USB um, cable. So hopefully, I'm looking on the back and I don't see a cable included in these. Hopefully it has a cable included, which we'll see here in just a second. So I'm opening up getting rid of the plastic shrink wrap and the, um, the box uh, is nice. It's exactly what it needs to be. Looks like a clamshell box. Printing is nice, very clear. I don't see any smear or smudges. And they've sealed it with their little logo um, decal sticker. So let's go ahead and open up the clamshell. Ah, very similar to some of the other products that I've reviewed recently. In terms of presentation, it's enclosed in a static-free bag, which is very nice. And now it's got an indication that you need to go and download the official driver, which we will do. So let's go ahead and remove the tab tablet temporarily. Now this is not a display tablet. This is a tablet that you would connect to a host machine and you would, um, you know, have it on the side or in the front, and you would be looking at the screen and then drawing on the tablet. So, looks like it does include a micro USB, goes into standard USB, which a lot of the companies out there that are making laptops and um, laptops and standalones and, and all in ones and desktops. This technology is a little bit older. <laughs> you know, USB-C seems to be the standard nowadays. Um, and this is not a wireless, uh, a wireless tablet similar to, here, I've got the other one right here that I reviewed. I reviewed one of their other products and I'll put that down in the description below. This particular tablet, the S640W, the W stands for wireless. This is not the wireless, um, uh, tablet that I'll be reviewing but this this was really great I really enjoyed working on this tablet and hopefully the yeah see it shows wireless technology for the smaller tablet and then now we're gonna get into the larger form factor so I'm looking at 
all of the items here. It looks like they've got a puck, I call them a puck, which is also doubles as a pin holder. So it's got the nibs for your stylus and then it's got the remover, removal tool. I don't even know if that's a, a word, remover, I guess it is. So then we have the rubber bottom that doesn't allow it to slide, which is really nice. And they've provided to it to you unassembled because I think a lot of people, whenever they get this, they're like, oh, it's a pen holder and it's nice weight. And they don't realize that it's got pen nibs in it. And I, and I can tell you time and time again, I've been in different art departments and they all have at least one or two or three people that don't realize that um, these uh, pen holders a lot of times hold the nibs and the pen nib removal tool. So good quality, nice weight. When we get into this bag right here, so let's go ahead and get our trusty Sword of Omens. To open up the static free bag. So this is where your documentation is located. Documentation for warranty. And again, very similar to some of the other companies that I've reviewed. Uh, this is actually different. This is shiny paper. <laughs> so the other companies I reviewed didn't have a shiny book cover. So again, it shows you what it is, the quick guide, um, where the different um, features of the tablet are, and how to hook it up. You just basically take the tablet and you hook it into the USB port on your machine and you download the driver and move forward. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. There's a warranty card for registration and we continue into the bag of goodies. And we'll get rid of this. And yay, another glove. Probably got about 30 of these gloves. <laughs> it's all fine. I love these. It's so funny back in the day whenever I first saw that these were available, they were only really available from one particular resource. You didn't see a lot of people out there that were doing these. And the person that I ordered this from, um, a, a very nice female uh, across the planet, she, I believe, made these. And I ordered one. It cost me $27 back in the day. And I'm sure she made tons of money until they started providing them with the tablets. Um, you know, and, and now we've got a ton of them. Here we go. Here's the stylus. I'm very familiar with the stylus. Very similar, if not the same stylus that they provided on the S640. And it's got two um, buttons for programmability, removable nib, as we just saw in the uh, holder. And then it does not have an eraser. So that's completely fine. Um, I know at this particular price point, there are limited amount of things that the companies can do because you have different, uh, different, let's make sure that we don't have anything. Okay, we don't. They have different price points um, for different items, right? Different features and you need to, you know, maximize your profit margin, <laughs> which is completely fine. Um, especially, you know, in today's day and age. So here is the star of the show. So let's go ahead and open it. If I can get into it. Nice. It says, do not put the bag over your head. Do not fall into the bag, into the abyss, and always make sure that you recycle said bag. <laughs> I kid, of course, I kid. I'm kidding. I'm gonna fall into this bag. What do you think I am, tiny? Okay, so we're looking at the item as we get into the bag and reveal the unit. Okay, so let's look. Oh, nice. Okay, so it's got some indications, some tabs that you need to pay attention to when you first open it. Of course, it says, please remove the protector before using. So it's got a little film on these buttons because they're shiny and they don't want you to scratch them. Okay. Of course, you come over to the next protective film. Oh, I love that sound. That sounds so good. That, my friends, is the sound of creativity and the start of something special. 
All right, so here we are at the tablet itself, and then we come here and we say, please remove the protector film. Oh, what is this? This is interesting. I didn't anticipate this. I wonder if this is a slide. We're gonna find out in just a minute. That would be awesome, like a slide to zoom in and out. I don't know if it is, I'm just surmising. I haven't really gotten into the tablet features yet. So looking at it, it's very nice fit and finish. The plastic and the quality of the plastics is very nice. So let's go ahead and flip it over. One of the things I always like to indicate is the rubber stop -dos. That is a technical term, stop -do, that helps alleviate the tablet from moving. And if I'm looking at this, honestly, the fit and finish, I'm seeing a little bit of bowing right here. The tablet has a little bit of bow and there's inconsistencies all along here from where they manually put the screws in. This is something I don't see, if you can see that. I don't usually see screws on the bottom of an item like this because of the the way plastic, um, you know, plastic snaps together these days. I'm, I'm interested to see why they did that. That's a conscious choice in terms of design. That's kind of old school. You see the screws and that's just a Phillips head. It's not even a Torx. And then of course the decal with the serial number on back showing the company logo. And then we flip it over again and we look for the pot. Here's this. Looks like a serial. Okay. It looks like a standard micro USB. Go ahead and find where it goes in. That is again old school. So we're looking at a little bit older technology in this form factor, right? We're seeing USB here, micro USB here. Then we're seeing some screws on the back. So this is even, you know, I would say I would look at this and I and if I could, if you told me, yeah, this is released in 2022, I wouldn't so much think that it would be released in 2022 because it's the technology form factor is a little bit older. Now, is it hard to find a computer these days with just standard USB? I, I don't know because the computers that I've purchased recently, um, you know, my Mac has a USB on the back, so that's no big deal. And then my uh, Surface Laptop Studio, which was uh, purchased earlier this year, I have to actually run a, a, uh, a dongle port um, that has USB in it because the computer itself no longer supports standard USB. So again, no complaints. The overall form factor and just the way it looks is really nice. And I like the fact that they put their logo on stuff. You know, I've got so many different peripherals in my studio. A lot of times, you know, I might have a pin here and a pin there. And I like the fact they put their logo on stuff because I can, yeah, that, that, because it looks like a lot of the other styluses that I use. And I like the fact that they put that on there and they put the tampo print on their on their uh, unit and also they put it um, on their pen. Stylus right there. So let's go ahead and get this hooked up, driver downloaded to the laptop studio and let's go ahead and get started doing a demo for you guys and see how it drives. Okay, and here we are in the application that I'll be doing the uh, line test and the drawing in. So I've got it connected to the host machine. You can see, um, Got the cable hooked into my dongle, hooked into the machine. So like I had indicated before, this machine uses some of the older proprietary technology, um, USB, micro USB, and then of course, uh, standard USB. It doesn't have USB-C. So just note that in your brain whenever you go and look at this particular uh, unit. Also, before I get into the drawing test, so I decided to go ahead and look at their store on Amazon and that's what this is. This is their store. So you can see they have a myriad of uh, possibilities for you to go in and purchase a tablet. Different price points, they've got display tablets, and this is all on Amazon, um, amazon.com. Now you can go to the Yugi, Yugi website as well uh, to see what they have as far as any sales, any coupons, or anything like that. But I tend to gear towards Amazon just because I have prime uh, shipping and that's basically free for me. So let's look at the overall options. You've got, looks like their most expensive tablet is $300 currently on Amazon. And that is a 15.4 inch drawing tablet, fully laminated. Um, 
But for our particular review today, we're gonna look at what this tablet is, which is the M708. So I'm looking at the box. So M708. There's there's a couple different caveats here. So you look at, let's see, the M708 V3. That's $60 currently. And then if you look at, and you scroll down, you have the M708 10 by six, and that's just, and that's $10 cheaper, but I'm not really sure what the difference is. And then you've got this tablet right here, the M708 3D digital tablet. Now, what I'm seeing here, I'm looking, V3, let's look at V3. Let's look at this one really quick. Now, this is something that I like doing because it shows you me as a customer coming in after I've purchased the tablet or I'm examining the website or the store on Amazon and it shows me exactly the competency level as well as the ability to market your product efficiently and effectively to your customer base. So whenever you have three items at three different price points with the same code and then you have this V3 attached to it, it makes you think maybe you're getting something a little bit different. It says USB, eight hotkeys. It looks exactly like what I have, 10 by six, okay. And then I come back, that's the V3 version, and I scroll down, okay, and the 708 10 by six. So again, a different price point, and it looks like a different code for the item. Eight hotkeys, this is a deal. Again, I'm not seeing a huge disparaging difference in between the different items. So there's three items with the same code, and here's a third one. So this says 3D digital tablet. That's interesting. 3D digital tablet. Is it specifically geared towards a three-dimensional or 3D artwork? I don't know how that would be possible. Okay, this one's 57. So based upon what I see, I see three items with the same code, except one says 3D, one is just the 10 inch by six M708, and this one up here is M708 version three. So whenever you go to whenever you go to purchase one of these tablets, I would read all of the documentation. I would understand exactly what you're getting yourself into. Um, you know, whenever I look at, again, whenever I look at a customer's, or not a customer's, a, a company's website, I like to have clear vision of exactly what I'm purchasing. When there's three different items with three different uh, number codes, and then you're referencing three different possibilities with three different price points, I'd like to know the complete difference. Maybe you list them all and then you give little tabs. I really don't know. But either way, that was a confusing <laughs> little adventure. So line test. This is important to note that the line test is not a definitive yes or no. It's not a definitive, I'm gonna buy it, I'm not gonna buy it, because everybody draws different. Everybody has a different experience with technology. Everybody is gonna understand things a little bit different at a different level. So I've reviewed quite a few of these tablets, and there is something to the line test, right? Back in the old days, whenever you would do a line test on a computer or a tablet, you would basically do a, a, a vertical and a horizontal test, and then of course, the diagonal test, and the diagonal test is typically what shows the Achilles heel of any pen technology, because you'll see the waves, right? The waves that happen. So let's go ahead, I've got, go ahead and for just for transparency, I've got the hard round in Photoshop, the hard round. Okay, let's just do a simple, so you can see that I don't have any issues going on. So let's go ahead, we're gonna do a vertical, non-assisted. So let's go ahead and zoom in. Let's go back. Okay, this is non-assisted vertical. Okay, looks good. I don't have any smoothing on. So what you're seeing is my hand Okay, so in this moment, I decided to put on the glove just because it helps, you know, it helps that whole process of going across this surface. The surface has a texture to it, 
which I like so because it, it really emulates drawing on paper but whenever you have your hand on it without so it's gonna get a little bit more friction so you're gonna get you're gonna get these instances where it's going faster slower faster slower faster slower because your hand is creating a friction against that mat uh, base here so that's why they provide a glove to help things go a little bit smoother and you can see it is pretty smooth you can see incon inconsistencies here here and you're getting some of these little little pigtails right here right you'll see the pressure like it'll go 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 and then this right here I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on that this right here to right here so I started uh, lifting off pressure and then it's abrupt it yeah you can see it again these little that right there okay these little things that happen consistent let's go back I'm gonna increase the brush size consistent 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 and then I'm gonna go really fast so this isn't too bad and two it might be the settings you gotta understand this so the settings of that particular brush this is a stock brush general brushes this is the brush that came with Photoshop as you can see I have a billion brushes right each one of them has a different setting each one of them has a different taper setting each one of them has a different pressure setting so I wanted to make sure and use this particular brush because again it's it's come stock and you can really emulate what I'm doing so let's go ahead with the diagonal and this is non meaning non assisted that means I don't have a piece of paper that is assisting me with that straight line so as you can see it's really good I'm getting a couple little like if I to go really fast you see that okay so that right there what I want to see as uh, as an artist I don't want to see stuff like this this is this is an electronic uh, algorithmic um, computational error so it'll come 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 and then it'll drop off really quick now this isn't bad I like to see that so let's make the brush a little bit bigger okay sometimes user error is in so we're getting starting to get a little bit better a little bit better so this right here no bueno this good this good this good and this good I'm getting nice consistent pressure so let's go ahead and really light let's go ahead and turn on everything so now we have complete pressure which includes opacity pressure width and everything so we're gonna get everything in this one nice we're at full pressure we're gonna start tapering off we're tapering off again we're tapering off again and we're gonna to come to nothing this is what is known as a perfect pressure curve okay you're getting nothing you're getting medium 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 heavy all heavy all heavy all heavy and then I started releasing pressure here you're not seeing big blocks right some of the other pins you'll come and you'll see a block and then it'll get light so this is this is really good you know like I said things like this happen because a lot of times of user error so let's go ahead and do the next one edit fill okay all right so now we're going to do the assisted line test okay let's go ahead and turn that pressure off make sure it's not opacity I want full opacity for this so you guys can see if there's any wiggle wiggle I'm using their warranty policy card because it's nice card stock and it's got a nice straight line um, it's not completely straight you do see a little bit of waves so that doesn't give them the best option for representation so I need a better all right this is an animation peg so let's see if this helps nice diagonal real I'm gonna go really slow and I'm gonna lift I'm gonna go really slow hard less 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 lift 
you guys I'm not seeing any real issues you know I'm seeing occasional if I do this no nope, I'm not getting it and I think the metal ruler is interfering was interfering with that so I'm pretty satisfied here's the horizontal let's go ahead and do assisted Beautiful, beautiful, wonderful, lovely. Let's go ahead and turn on opacity. Let's do a horizontal with opacity. I am seeing a little bit of ugliness there. So let's go ahead and try it again. Okay, we're doing Okay, harder, 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 harder. Less, 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 less. Okay, that is actually not a bad pressure curve, and you gotta understand that's how big. I mean, I'm literally zooming in. I am trying to get the worst result I can, and it's you know you can look at it, and it's not. This isn't great. Whenever you see things here, 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 here here and here here but whenever you zoom out in the context of what I'm actually doing yeah well, that is a very nice pressure curve I also found out something recently that I don't think a lot of people understand or know in communication with the different vendors and the different people that use these tablets a lot of their technology is shared. So you have Yugi, which is the parent company of XP pins. So whenever I go and install the driver, a lot of the interface looks very similar. So like the driver here, if I can get it to. Okay, so this is also something that I think needs to be noted. I noticed this whenever I first installed the driver, and this is the same on some of the other um, tablets that I've reviewed. So on Windows machines, you have touch, right? I just got through reviewing a touch machine and it was fantastic. But what I did notice is whenever you come to the edge, especially at the bottom, it does, the cursor selects the icon that you want, but it doesn't press it, even though it's being pressed. I think maybe I'm not pressing it hard enough or I'm not pressing in, this, in the correct spot. I think if I just press it harder, that might be the trick. That's what it is. So on the edge, if you're at the edge and you're pressing the buttons, yeah, see, it's what I, I had to press that how many times? And I was pressing it pretty hard. So little things like that that really raise up uh, in the workflow whenever you're going fast and you're like, ah, ah, and you're like, ah. And it doesn't, you know, I'm pressing it, I'm pressing it, I'm pressing it, I'm pressing it, I'm pressing it. And you can see it doesn't always happen. And it's activating on the tablet, but whenever I take my finger, right, and I press, it happens every time. So, again, finger, tablet. And here is the, the, uh, now this might be just on a Windows machine, and it might just be on a Surface machine. That's why I definitely think whenever you do these things, yeah, see, and you go to press it. It might just be the activation on the edge because I'm really, if you look, so like down here, you can see that, well actually up here, you can see that little square. That's the, that's the live area. So if I come here and I put the pen down, it activates via the light. But if I come to the edge, it's not gonna activate. So that little white indicator, I think needs to be paid attention to and the more you use the tablet, the better it's going to be. You just get used to it, right? Okay, so here is the driver, very similar to the XP Pen. I'm actually using the XP Pen remote and it recognizes it. So that in and of itself tells me it's the same driver slash company. Um, so, yeah, see, watch. Touch, 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 touch. So it took four times for it to recognize the touch. Whereas if I were to go back, go back and I use my finger it's first time so touch machines might be a little bit different than desktop machines so I wouldn't uh, you know don't get too upset 
especially if you're connecting this to a PC. We all know, especially if we use PCs, that PCs have a life of their own sometimes and a mind of their own and we need to be conscious of that and maybe the drivers just aren't up to date or maybe the inner drivers are interfering and that's something you need to know. So let's go ahead and get started in the drawing process. Okay, so we're gonna get into the drawing process here. I'm gonna obviously make sure and pay attention to all of the things that happen in the process, but you know, I've been drawing on tablets and display tablets for a while. If there's any indication that there's a hiccup or anything with the tablet itself, I'm gonna know. So the brush I'm gonna be using is a textured brush. It's my sketch brush that I utilize a lot in a lot of my videos. And today we're gonna to be drawing a hyena. So a, he, a, he, a hyena with a twist. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, the way I do my drawings is typically what I'll do is I will just block in the overall shape of what I'm drawing and it's yeah, let's move that over just a little bit I'm using the quick key uh, remote that I talked about just a minute ago but this particular device does have quick keys I don't typically use the quick keys on the tablet itself but that option is there for you guys if that's something that you want to utilize it is definitely there for you let's go ahead and bring that down a little bit okay you're like what kind of hyena is that you'll see Select, image, edit, transform. Let's go transform, scale. Let's make that a little bit smaller on the composition, a little bit smaller. Okay, double click, and we're good to draw again. So, for those of you who are on my channel quite a bit, you know that I primarily use a display tablet and going back to my roots which is what this is I'm kind of going back to my roots my roots being where I first started from you know we all we all have that beginning right that beginning you just can't look at somebody's artwork and say man they're freaking fantastic I could never get there well I, there's a lot <laughs> of stuff that you need to understand how somebody gets to a level where I'm at, right? A level, and that's just a level. There's people that are eons beyond me. So at this particular level, you know, I'm able to do things a little bit quicker than what I used to, just because I've been drawing a large portion of my life, right? Whenever you draw a lot, and this is something that happens, your, your ability to see things changes, and it's quicker. You know, um, is it always correct? No. <laughs> and that's, that's one of the things that I'm always talking about. I'm always talking about, you need to just not be so daggum hard on yourself. Good Lord, gosh, man. People get so upset whenever it comes to drawing, you know, like, I can't do it, and then they slam it down, and, I saw it time and time again whenever I used to teach, not only at the college level, but also I saw it, you know, in the um, in the in the lower grades. I mean, people just get so mad if they can't do it instantaneous, then they're just gonna kind of give up, and that's something that I never did. I, you know, I was like, if I'm gonna do this for a living, uh, first of all, I'm gonna have fun doing it. Second of all, I'm not going to give up because giving up is for losers, <laughs> right? The only time that you're going to lose whenever it comes to drawing is when you give up. You just, you can't give up, right? You just can't. And no matter if you're doing it for fun, no matter if you're doing it for money, you know, whatever you're drawing, it's just, it's the sure pleasure of creating something that makes me happy you know I just encourage you those that are on the fence those that 
are just struggling with artwork or creating or doing something creative, don't give up, you know? Rome wasn't built in a day, therefore you can't draw something instantaneously perfect the first time you do it. And, you know, and two, there's kind of a two-edged sword whenever you look at, um, look at other people's drawings because what happens, you compare yourself with them. I know I do it, I do it quite a bit and it's not healthy. And just one of the things that you need to always remember, everybody's at a different level and you're on your journey. So don't get upset if you're drawing, just you look at it and you're like, man, I'm terrible. Yeah, but we're all terrible at some time, right? So you're in good company. <laughs> I sucked too at one point in my life. You know, we all suck at some point in time of our life. So just know that tomorrow, if you draw, you're gonna suck a little bit less. And then eventually you, you look at your stuff and you go, huh, I did, you know, you look back and you look at some of the artwork and stuff that you've done. And you're like, wow, I remember doing that piece. I remember the song I was listening to. I remember the the day, kind of day it was. And artwork is an experience, right? Drawing is an experience. I love doing it. And it's hard. It's hard for me, right? Drawing is hard for me. It is therapeutic, but it's also a challenge, you know? Looking at something, transposing it, uh, converting it to where I can actually understand what I'm looking at. What I'm knowing that right now is I'm blocking in and it's a it's it's the block in, right? Block in of shapes, simple shapes, the anatomy of the hyena, what I'm gonna end up doing with them, what I'm you know trying to accomplish in the context of the artwork and the expression and and you know I'm being very loose. Very loose. So let's go let's go back. They're like, what well, is that big thing on top? Whoops. Whoops. Okay, let's save. Good. Yeah. You getting it yet? He's a pirate! He's a pirate hyena! Come on! That's hilarious. That is hilarious, man. <laughs> All right, so let's continue on. All right. Because I just think, you know, whenever you look at hyenas, they're so odd looking. They've got this huge neck. They're all beefy, right? And, and what do they do? They go around looking for the best opportunity to take your stuff. Right? They, they, they're, they're opportunistic animals and they're extremely intelligent. I mean, you know, problem-solving intelligence. I watched a documentary on them recently and I was astonished at the level of intelligence this animal possesses and it's just phenomenal. I love, uh, first of all, I love drawing animals. Second of all, I love doing mashups, you know, mashups and uh, make the brush a little bit smaller. Okay, his nose a little bit taller. And you've got this flare out. <laughs> Sorry, my sound effects sometimes. My uh, my beautiful wife, who I've been married to for a very long time, we've been together for over since basically 1995, which is a long time, and. I make sounds, and I didn't even know I made sounds. And she's like, honey, you're making sounds again. I'm like, what are you talking about? You know, I'll come in, maybe I'm singing something, maybe I'm, you know, something like that. And, and it's not very conducive to her work environment because she works from home too. And I'll come in doing that and she'll hear me and she'll be like, you're making the sounds again. I'm on a phone call. And I'm like, oops. So if you hear me make a sound here and there, it's because I'm trying to get into the characterization. You know, whenever he's growling. Rawr, 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 rawr. All right. So, so far the tablet is fantastic. I think at that price point, which is around, let's say $55, you 
You could probably get it for cheaper depending on where you shop, depending on what time of year you shop. I know right now they're having a they're having a uh, big summer winter time blowout. Um, no, really, they're having they're having the the Black Friday sale, I believe, because right now, as of this video, it's about a week away from Thanksgiving here in the states, and they do Black Friday sales. So Black Friday, of course, being that one time of year. Let's give him a jacket. <laughs> um, that one time of year when the uh, you know the retailers get in the black because you don't want to be in the red, right? You don't want to owe people money. Um, and that's what Black Friday is. Black Friday is there to show, hey, we're going to make some money this year. Yay! So that's what's happening right now. Let's give him some fur. Come around. And his tongue. Okay. This eye needs to come down a little bit further. So far, so good. I'm really enjoying the um, the overall feel of this particular tablet. It feels really good. You know, over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity, and it's just a great feeling tablet. I don't have any hangups of it. Let's go ahead and draw these down. Let's go ahead and have this down. Let's get his chin. His chin's right here. Good, 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 good. Let's get to define that silhouette a little bit better. That tooth comes out a little bit more. I just had a comment on somebody commented on one of my videos. Let's see what they said. Probably a complaint. I get a lot of complaints on my videos, believe it or not. They're like, what are you doing, man? So let's go to YouTube. Oh, there's no YouTube on here. Well, I'll have to do it here in a minute. Anyway, I get a lot of people complaining about my videos, the length, and they're like, you know, I don't mind watching the video. You just talk way too much. Just shut your trapper. And I'm like, okay. And then the next video, I, I don't do any talking. It's just a time lapse. They're like, dude, I love your talking. Where, where did everybody, where, what happened? I, I love to talk. So, you can't please everybody, right? So like I said, I love, I love the feel of this particular tablet. It feels really good with that, with those really lot, high levels of pressure sensitivity. I'm not getting any lag. I'm not getting any kind of issues. Let's go ahead and put that in there, the little eyeballs. And then we've got this hat that comes around. I want his, I want his ear to kind of be out here. Alright. Again, this is just the rough, the rough drawing. Just gonna have his hair kind of coming out all over the place. Right? Gonna have the fur coming down. I need to make sure these little items here and there that really help sell the art the drawing itself. Maybe his jaw is a little bit wider out. Yeah, it needs to be wider and down more. And then we've got this other tooth, this huge tooth. Oh my gosh, these are scary. The gum's coming down. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to put you guys on time lapse because this drawing is going to take more than a hot minute. And I wanted to do it right. You know, I just didn't want it to be a throw together, you know, because... do a compositional change. I'm not really sure. I'm not liking how this is kind of abruptly going here. Maybe I had a shoulder right here and it's kind of coming down. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. You get to see me struggle. You're struggling, homie. Okay, that's good. Whoops. Whoops. Come back down. Good, good. It's got that jaw. That jaw's not down far enough. It actually comes here, and then it's way down here. I'm looking at reference off shot um, of a hyena. Let's go ahead and color these in. And I'm using it as a reference. I like the pose. 
and then I'm, I'm using the reference from another drawing for the hat, but it's similar in, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, here, 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 after this, 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 this. He's got that ear, that other ear that comes out. Let's go ahead and have that come out here. Right, comes out. Maybe it's coming here, like that. And obviously, this area isn't big enough, so I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to get some lines here to give it a little bit of this and that. Yeah, hyenas are wonderful animals. Super powerful. I watched them attack a lion, and then the lion. Uh, had its buddies come back and was able to save it, but I was like, dude, those hyenas, they're gonna eat that. They're gonna eat that lion. Yeah. Okay, and have that come out. I'm kind of caricaturing it just a little bit because I want to make sure and accentuate the items that need to be accentuated uh, quite a bit. So we got a tooth here, tooth here, tooth here tooth here and we come down and then it's got yeah that's my Alexa okay all right so let's go ahead and put you guys on time lapse and you can watch the whole process from start to finish enjoy
here's where I landed with this piece. So you can see in terms of my setup, the tablet is quite large compared to my full size Surface Laptop Studio. So I didn't really have any issues at all going in and matching what I was drawing on the screen. Um, overall, uh, it's very easy to set up. You can see the cable just plugs right into the dongle. If you don't have a dongle, that USB cable will plug in right to the left hand or right hand side of your computer and you can progress forward. So what did I think overall of the Yugi M708 drawing tablet? Um, so I'm always one to be real positive about you know the products that I review and if it doesn't inhibit me from the creative process and it actually adds to the workflow then I'm gonna give it a thumbs up and this device did exactly that you know if you're in the marketplace for a larger uh, form factor you know this being 10.6 inches I believe is the large hold on yeah so 10 point 10 inch by 6 inch so it's quite large I remember back in the day whenever I bought a tablet from one of the bigger name competitors and I ended up paying like $90 and it was for an 8x6 or it was for a 5x5 or it was something really tiny. And of course this is years and years ago whenever the pressure sensitivity was only like 240 points. You know now we're at 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity and you know the resolution at 580 uh, LPI which is almost actually I think it's the exact same uh, LPI as it is for uh, my 4k screen so this is not a display screen it's a uh, drawing pen tablet that you would use possibly if you're on a train or if you're at home or if you're on a budget or something like that you know at the price point they have it listed as uh, on Amazon at $55 you know during certain sales you know Christmas sales summer sales fall sales and of course the wonderful uh, holiday which here in America everybody loves to shop right it's Black Friday they're gonna give some great deals um, on this particular tablet tablet and we're gonna list not only the uh, the tablet it is but also the link so you can go to Amazon and pick up one of these uh, puppies uh, for a reasonable price so overall Yugi is a great company and I and I equate it very similar to XP pen because Yugi and XP pen are basically the same company um, I love XP pen I love Yugi both companies are fantastic but this particular tablet in particular is one that I think you should consider if you're looking for a budget-minded tablet that you can maybe get for yourself uh, if you're a budding professional. If you are a professional and you just need to throw it in your bag, something that's really reliable and, and has all the bells and whistles that you need. And also, if maybe you have some kids that wanted to get into, get into digital art, you know, this particular machine is compatible with Windows, um, you know, it says, says 7, 8, and 10, and I ran it on Windows 11. and. It's also Mac uh, OS 10, uh, point 10 or later, and it's compatible with um, Chrome OS 88 or later. So, again, the Yugi M708 pen tablet. Go out, you know, compare and contrast and find the best fit for you. They have a lot of options on their website and on their page, and hopefully you can find something cool. Um, so, what's up next for the channel? lots of fun things please like and subscribe if you like what you see and as always we're not just reviewing products here we're drawing and we're exploring and we're learning and uh, we're trying new things all the time so hopefully you like what you saw and you'll come back for more we'll see you next time guys bye